Okay, so the first thing you want to do is come in with a clean brush, so there's no paint in the brush, and using clean water. I'm gonna, Now, this is a fully loaded brush. If we look at this for a moment, it's, it's really sopping. There's a lot of water in there, and that's okay. I want to come in with a lot of water. I'm going to put down, essentially, a big puddle right in the middle. Now, you can see that. Good. I'm going to put this big puddle right in the middle, and then I want to come from that puddle and push my water into the edges okay now the thing is if i have a puddle in the middle it's going to make it easier i don't have to go back and forth all the time so i can just quickly grab from that puddle and move it down don't worry about how big that puddle is i mean you don't want it big enough it's going to roll down the paper obviously i can see that i'm definitely getting um, a bead of water there and another bead here so there's too much water but that's all right because this is just the first step i just want to come around and, and i'm going to take my time because this whole tutorial is only about water so you want to take your time and make sure you go all the way to the edges lay that water you know, corner to corner, edge to edge, across the whole piece. Get it the way you want. I'm doing this in real time. I'm not going to speed it up because I think it's important you guys understand that when doing the water, this is like you're, you're painting the picture with the water. So in that sense, it's one of the most important things, if not the most important thing. You have to lay down the water uh, fully. So I'm going to grab my towel. This is just a face towel that I use for this. I want to dry my brush. Okay, now here's something you might not often hear. I have a few drops on here too I would uh, lift them out as well I want to dry my brush now coming back this is technically now called a damp brush because it is still wet but it is much drier I could do it a little more now I'm going to come with a dry brush and I'm going to mop or soak up all that extra water that I just laid down so my little reservoir my little puddle or pool in the middle of my flower I now want to pick that up using a damp brush the same brush i just used it's still clean i just um rubbed it on a on a paper towel or you know on a, on a towel towel which is much better and environmentally friendly and i also want to remove any of this water that's come outside outside of the um outside of my little drawing. I'm going to come back here and then move that. Now I know that because it, we're on an angle here, the water is going to go to the bottom. So I'm probably going to have more of a pool in the bottom than the top, but it doesn't matter if you work flat. See how easy that is to just pick that up? Um, it doesn't matter. If I was working flat, it would still be, I'd still have pools of water, I'd still have to lift it out. Now here's the thing, here's the trick. Can we see that sheen, that glistening, okay? There's a shine on there. And if you tilt the page, and at some point you guys are gonna see that, you can see that the shine is the same. If it's not the same, see now I've been talking, this part is, this part is a little dry, this part is wetter. I can definitely tell that there's more water in the center. And over here, it's completely dry. So I'm gonna come back. While it's all still a little on the wet side, I'm gonna come back. This time I'm gonna put my brush into the water and take a little bit off. Now I've got my, my board on an angle so you can see it, also so I can see it. And I want to then paint in again where that water is supposed to be, okay? I paint it again, and now, you know, I'm going to go back and I'm going to redo my corners. And I would do this exactly the same way, because I'm not speeding it up. Redo all these corners. The center is still wet. I know this is the first time I put paper, water on this paper, and so the paper is going to really absorb a lot of it. It's nice and warm in this room, so it's also going to evaporate quickly. Now, again, I want to come back dry my brush, come back to my paper, and then lift out again any of these pools I have. But hopefully this time, because now it's two layers of paint, or sorry, two, two layers of water that I've been painting on, just clear water. Um, this time, hopefully it won't dry completely. And I want, I want that, um, uh, I want, if, if, if you make it wet and you bring your brush through it, okay, so then some parts you can see the texture of the paper and other spots you see a really high gloss. It's kind of the difference between a high gloss and a semi-gloss for paint on a wall. You know what, let's go with that. So we don't want high gloss, we want a semi-gloss. 
And I know that's probably just as confusing as everything else. So I'm just going back and forth to make sure that it's even. Again, it's starting to dry a little bit down there. I'm going to go back and forth, make sure it's even. And when I have all those super high gloss puddles out of the way, and all I have left is the is the semi gloss. You know what? That looks more like a butterfly than um, than a flower. Um, when it's all even completely even then I'm going to and I of course I've already made my color it's all done here now I'm going to come in and pick up my color and just for the fun of this because this is a really small piece I think I'm going to do it with a smaller brush I'm going to pick up my color now did I talk too long <laughs> nope I did not it's perfect it's all that semi-gloss lovely sheen going all the way across and it's completely even now what i want to do is i have two options if i'm going to paint the whole thing one color let's let's do that because it's just easier uh, for you guys to see right away so i'll make a little more paint here let's get like a pinky purple color i'm going to come into the center i'm not going to do the whole thing i probably need a bigger brush great let's come into the center let's drop that color in here let's see if we can plop some more color in okay now I want to bring the color out to the edges and the same concept I've got my reservoir my little puddle of paint in the center be careful not to throw spots anywhere and now I want to just bring that paint out to the edges and it's all wet I don't have to worry I don't have to go too fast don't have to go too slow just bring that paint out to the edges this is an incredibly awkward position to be painting in. <laughs> I really hope that it's the right spot that you guys can see because it is ridiculous. Okay, so now I've got this last part here. I want to bring this out again to the edge. And in the process, I've removed all of those little bleeds um, where the paint has little fingers and are going off in all directions. They look like little sunbursts. I don't like the sunbursts. Now, if you leave them, the sunburst will end up like this. Some of these little lines are sunburst. A lot of this I've gone over, but I'll show you that in a second as well. So the paper is still wet, it's still glossy. So now I can come back and I can do some house cleaning and I can say, all right, now I'm gonna come in and I'm going to, I can use a little bit of paint, the same amount. I don't wanna add more water to my picture. And I also don't wanna remove water. So I want my brush to be the same wet, wetness, wet dampness, I'm supposed to say that. Um, and I wanna come back and I wanna clean up these edges because my wash is currently wet. This is the perfect moment to clean it up. If I end up with a little puddle, See, when I pull the water into one spot, I end up with a little puddle. I can then take my brush. I mean, I don't have to because it's going to bleed right back out. But I could take my brush, dry it off, and come back and just tap that little puddle. So it's the same thing here. And we have a hair in here also. Okay. I'm going to again go through this side. Okay, now I'm always checking. I'm always going back and checking. I can see that this part over here is drying. So let's clean up that part quickly. This is where it all gets a little kooky. And again, this is a bizarre angle to be painting on. So I'm going to clean that up nice and quick. There we go. Come out here. Now this is going to give me a sharp edge because the inside is wet but the outside is dry. So I'm painting, it's like half wet, half dry. Where the paint is touching the water or the damp surface, it is going to bleed in and not have any crispy lines. Right, now here, see how that was a little more, I just want to pull it out. Just pull it. Pull it into the rest and it will gently bleed out. Now I have just